We did a job here six years back. It also involved taking down scaffolding, and we used a leap air crane for that job too, an LTM 1500. The challenge in today's crane job lies in the limited space available in the square in front of the railway station. The difficulties with establishing supports because we had to use precisely defined foundations and keep escape routes clear while allowing taxi ranks and through roads to remain in use. As a result, we had to set up the crane and fit the luffing jib in a really tight spot. We started yesterday afternoon and had to set up the basic machine in three hours. Then we had to interrupt the work because of commuter traffic, but we were able to get the luffing jib fitted from 10 p.m. onwards. It took us eight hours to do this simply because of these tricky conditions. We fitted the luffing jib partly in the air. Finally, we had to fit the last four parts completely in the air using a very steep main boom. The job we did before here was actually an ordinary one. We had a specified area, sufficient space for setting up, and we were close enough to the cathedral. This time around we didn't have enough space. We wouldn't have been able to get the job done at all if we'd had to use a crane from back then. This time it was only the LTM 1750-9.1 that made it possible. We had a 92 meter luffing jib, more than 100 meter radius, 120 meters hook height, it was precisely tailored for the crane. The scaffolding was 40 meters long and was suspended a maximum of 5 centimeters away from the figures and ornamentation on Cologne Cathedral. As a result, the crane had to move with accuracy down to the millimeter from a distance of 100 meters away to avoid damaging anything that had just been restored. The six scaffolders who work for the cathedral's masonry works are themselves specialists. Other scaffolding companies come to them for training. The crane job went really smoothly because the people who were here six years ago also carried out the work this time. Everyone was prepared. Our operators were the same as before, so they also knew the job already. Even though it was a few years ago, the team that did the job had a good experience working together. We used an LTM 1095-5.1 for fitting the luffing jib and an LTM 1070-4.2 for folding down the scaffolding. The crane performed magnificently. We normally use it for wind turbine applications where the machine is very, very strong. 
The crane wasn't pushed to its limits here, but we still needed the full set of equipment. We had the complete luffing jib on it, the y guying and the full counterweight, meaning that the crane was pushed to its utmost. Continuous further development undertaken by Liebherr is a huge advantage of these cranes, both with regard to technology and safety. And the crucial factor with Liebherr, which explains why we have almost 100 Liebherr cranes of our own, is their service and customer care.